Welcome back, friends, to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. We are on the Base Day 1 series. If you're new here, the purpose of this series is to make a base on Day 1 and uh, stick with that base. We do everything there. We stay there. We do our uh, foraging there. We do our horde nights there. Our storage is there. Everything is all in one place. So it's Base Day 1. We don't stay in any buildings or anything. I might have the occasional overnight in a building somewhere just in case uh, I end up really far out. But that doesn't happen too often, and this here is our base day one. We are currently on normal settings and taking on times 64 hordes. So default settings and 64 hordes. It's actually been a, a lot of fun. So as you can see, our uh, main base here, the bottom with all the iron spikes and everything, that is all established, good to go. And I'm starting to uh, prepare new traps and everything else here. Now, these aren't good to go. These aren't hooked up or anything yet. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how the horde kind of goes around this on Horde Night. We'll take an eye on it. But we need to expand our base like crazy here in the coming weeks. So we got to build a few more wings like this. Uh, the roof's going to come up over top of it. It's going to look real neat. But for now... I need to make sure that I have my base and everything ready uh, for Horde Night here. So we have our uh, steel pillars, everything upgraded. Uh, the thing I was working on upgrading down here was all everything uh, holding it up. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, go upstairs. We're going to take a look at our forges here. And we should actually have a uh, fair amount of steel sitting around because I, I left them going before I left here. And I should have. Yeah, look at that. A bunch of steel sitting up in there. Uh, we got some steel in there. We got some iron. We need this too. Uh, to do uh, repairs and to build new iron spikes. Now, those spikes aren't going to be our main defense in the end, uh, but right now they are our main defense, so we, uh, we have no choice. That's what's uh, kind of riding us through the Horde Knights here. Okay, there we go. So if we look here, we got one, two, three, and uh, just a little bit over stacks of forged steel. I got a little bit of stuff to put away here myself. Uh, so, oops, not my auger. Oh, actually, that's not my auger. That's another auger I found. Uh, so I'm going to get this stuff put away here, and uh, we'll go ahead and start upgrading. If you guys like to watch from episode one, uh, definitely go down to the comments. I always pin the playlist in there for you. Alright, and just to mention too, I finally got those two skill points available to um, upgrade our perception skill here. So we're going to go to attentive, which is going to give us 250% headshot damage. That's like critical, like that's that's literally what you want. And then our next step is going to be two more uh, points, and then we can go ahead and get lucky looter 5 of 5, and salvage operations of 5 of 5, and then uh, we're laughing there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead too and uh, take a, start getting these forges going, because I want these things going 24-7, making us tons and uh, tons of supplies. I should have split that last stack. There we go. That'll work. And we only actually have a little bit of iron hanging around, so we're gonna have to make a uh, iron trip here sooner than later. Holy crap, like look at that. Look at that. Just almost stuck all my iron just right in that one forge. That's insane. Let's make some more steel then. Okay, we're out of iron, so it is time to do some uh, steel upgrades here. So this is our main floor. We kind of come down here and uh, we, we take on the horde. There we go. Ooh, I probably actually need some concrete too to get these uh, repaired, but uh, it is what it is. I'm going to run up and grab that before uh, I need it. Okay, there we go. Concrete mix grab. So I think I pretty much got this inside done. I was kind of following a pattern at one point in time, but... Um, I don't even think it matters at this point. I'm going to just go ahead and get these all upgraded. Oh, we got ourselves an airdrop here. Where is it at? Oh, it's right over there. You know what? Let's take a little bit of a break here and uh, go and get some. Uh, I already upgraded a lot of steel here, so we got a lot of that. Um, and look at my XP bar. Like, I am level... What are we at here? Uh, level 66. So the XP bar doesn't move quickly up at these levels. And... I'm already almost one full tool, bar, or tool belt bar over, if that makes any sense. <laughs> wow, I can't wait till the next update, too, to check out the expanded toolbar and stuff. Um, I just don't feel like messing around with experimental, especially on, like, my uh, long-term save like this one. Uh, just not really worth uh, getting a few episodes in and then having to uh, double back to a backed-up save and start all over again. That would kind of suck. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and check out that airdrop if I can still even see it. Taking my time to get over there. There we go. It's right over there. 
And it looks like it's going to land right on the side of that lake right there. There we go. Now, airdrops. There used to be a lot of lakes in Seven Days to Die. Like, water was a huge bane. It was so hard to travel in because you go so slow. And, like, if you go around it, you go slow. There is no boats. Still is no boats. But what their solution to that was just less water. Um, and airdrops used to land, like, in the middle of lakes. And sometimes you'd almost drown. Uh, trying to get them out of the bottom. So um, I don't know who hired the stupid pilots, but since then they've been fired. And uh, we've gotten these better ones here. They really just don't drop them in really bad spots that I haven't seen yet. Uh, we got a level four iron spear, a couple military armor parts, beakers. Wow. We actually didn't make off that good this time. Oh, well, it is what it is. Let's get back to the base. Uh, that steel is burning a hole in my pocket here. And we're back. So how much steel do we have left? I got actually a large amount of that upgraded. Wow, we still have just over two stacks of steel. Like, look at that. We barely have any uh, concrete showing up there. So I'm thinking maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, this will give us enough steel to upgrade that level. And, oh, damn, okay. Whew, good thing I have all my skills here. Um, also, they uh, they address these ladders, too. Ladders are not the easiest things to go up and down. I've always used it as a temporary entrance, guys. You keep telling me to change this, and I don't know why, because, as you can clearly see, my base is under construction, and the main entrance isn't nearly uh, complete yet, or even being built. So, um, a ladder with a hatch at top? It does a perfect job for now. Anyway, uh, let's put a little bit of this stuff away, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade down below. Let's see if we can't get my XP bar to just uh, at the end of where my shoddy is here. Oh, well, just finishing up uh, upgrading here, and I heard a screamer. Did she die already? I was just about to say, we have a friend. Uh, no, she's dead. Is she dead? Oh, no, I hear her. There she is. What you doing, screamer? Screamer McGee? Whoa. Okay, well, she's down. <laughs> we got the XP for it, too. Usually the spikes uh, steal all the screamers. But yeah, look at that. We got all like the cross members and everything down here. All fully upgraded to steel, and we still have some left. Yes, there we go. Almost two full stacks. So these are the most important here. Got to get these all upgraded because these pillars, um, they cannot be taken out in mass. And uh, on top of that, uh, Spit has a, a wider uh, disperse now. Like it's, it's a bigger, bigger area. Uh, so there's more potential for cops to spit from down there up here and take out a few of these pillars. So um, upgrading these to steel is pretty essential. Uh, now, all the concrete we've been making is actually working on expanding the base outward and uh, building those walls and then getting the roof down here. Uh, the one thing I did forget to check, guys, is our um, bulletproof glass. Oh, I'm going to get distracted. Okay, let's go do this now. Let's go check out that bulletproof glass here. There we go. We'll go up this way. Um, one thing I've learned, especially with building a lot in seven days to die, if you expect to use any good amount of bulletproof... Oops. Um, bulletproof glass. Oh, we cannot make it. Were we out of lead? Um, if you're going to make any large amount of uh, bulletproof glass, you're going to need uh, to have it running constantly. Like constantly, constantly. Oh, damn, we're actually out of lead, period. Oh, okay. Well, next time I go over to my mine here, we need some iron anyway, but next time I'll go over to my mine, uh, we'll grab ourselves some lead too. Okay, there we go. Look at that, guys. All of the pillars upgrade and everything. That is crazy. Okay, and uh, if we take a look here at my XP, we actually crawled over the end of the uh, the bar that I was aiming for. So we're uh, doing pretty well on XP. Uh, now, what do we have left for steel? 254. I'm going to go ahead and actually save that and uh, put it aside for now. And since we have 200 and some blocks of... Uh, Bulletproof glass. I just said the word too and couldn't remember. That's pretty bad. Uh, since we have uh, a bunch of those blocks, we can actually go out and place some too. So I'm going to go ahead, grab our mix here, and we're going to go work on uh, the walls here a little bit. Here we go. We have some rebar frame blocks. We're going to grab all of those up. And uh, we're going to go to the side over here. There's this one wall right here that I didn't get finished building. So we're gonna build this straight up. I should have more than enough to finish it. And then uh, we'll do our glass around. I think that'll be pretty exciting. Okay, there we go. So got that corner portion of the wall done. It was a little boring, but hey, it, uh, it's one of those things that just need to be done, right? So let's go ahead and take out our uh, bulletproof glass here. And I actually want that shape, so oh, I can't copy that. Oh, 
copy shape. There we go. Nice. And I'm going to rotate in that way if you needed to. You can also go copy rotation. So that works as well. Now these here, uh, what I kind of want to do is, ooh, Oh no, I might have actually made these too high. I might have underestimated this. Okay, I'm gonna make a little bit of a platform along here so that I can get down there and walk along safely. There we go. And uh, keep flipping back and forth until we reach uh, our wall here. Oh no, look at this guys. I went one too high, damn it. My estimate was off. So we need this block here to actually be a slope. So to save myself time, because this stuff is going to start drying here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, peel off this top layer. Damn, that kind of sucks. Okay, so since I uh, pulled that dummy, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn these frames around and get this corner placed in. Uh, so for this corner block here, we're going to select the shape. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do that, by the way, it's uh, R to do that. And then we're going to select rebar frame corner full because these are uh, a full corner rebar frame corner. Uh, let's go ahead actually and do a on face. There we are. And if it's nice into the corner, there we go. And now I can come up underneath here. Let's grab that uh, bulletproof glass and I'm going to copy the rotation of this block here. There we go. Keep all the blocks nice and equal and uh, we'll attach it to there. So there we go. That is how um, our base is going to look. Actually, these rebar frame blocks. Hmm. Eh, you know what? It's a little cheaper this way. So we're, we're uh, but like the little angle here. Ah, uh, okay, I made up my mind then. We're gonna go with uh, with concrete. I think that looks uh, just fine. There we go. So now I've had a, uh, the reason I'm doing this because I had a few people ask me, what exactly is your plan uh, with the bulletproof glass to go down the side? And this is pretty much it. You're looking at it here, folks. Uh, pretty much turn it around. There we go. I gotta get this rotation, damn it. There we go. That'll do the job. And I'll kind of bring it down to the corner and then we'll uh, we'll fill in the sides too and try to make it at least one corner look like it's done. Okay, so unfortunately there is no uh, corner block here for the, um, the bulletproof glass. So we had to use uh, a concrete filler on the corner. But that's okay. I think that'll actually kind of look neat in the end once it's... Uh, done on all sides but it's only that one piece we have to do that with so it's a little bit of a sacrifice uh so yeah i got this whole corner done so basically what's going to happen when those wings go out like this and go that way uh this is going to continue going downwards and then we'll uh build the whole thing into a slope it's going to look so cool it's going to be a completely angled base i've never done one like this before uh, they usually end up being pretty square and stuff, but I wanted to go all angles this time. There we go. Maybe you guys can get a, a little bit of a better feel for it this way. So we're going to go down there. Of course, I have to peel off top rows of all of these, damn it. And then uh, go down towards there. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I'm really looking forward to this, guys. Uh, now I know uh, my 7 Days to Die videos have slowed down, and uh, I do want to apologize for that, guys. Uh, there's so much row right now that I want to try. Like, there's that medieval game, too, that I want to give that a shot. That thing looks pretty pretty damn cool uh there's all sorts of things i really want to try out so uh we're mixing it up with the videos a little bit but i'm not giving up on seven days to die guys not at all um it's also the busiest time of the year for me too especially uh with woodworking on the side uh there's a lot of demand right now especially people are inside doing more crafts it's coming up on uh, Halloween is coming up on Christmas, so I'm also in the middle of um, building myself a shop too, so that's a lot of work. There we go, got another one of these rows here all trimmed off on the top, which means we can uh, go ahead and actually start putting in another corner here of, um, of our glass. There we go, we'll turn that, oh, nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. And uh, we'll see how much glass we can actually get put in. Because how much do we have left on us? 230. We might actually be able to do a good portion of this roof here. That'd be kind of exciting. Okay, so I forgot uh, to do this on the other side here. But I had to come inside and uh, put rebar frame inside corners on the uh, the bottom here to actually fill in the blocks in between and join them all together. Uh, so I'll have to go and do that on the other side, but as you guys can see, look at that. 
starting to all come together. So I think this side here is going to be uh, completely fine if I keep building it out. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is uh, copy this and uh, try to get this side all built out. I'll probably have to build scaffolding all the way across, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, there we go. So I got the corners in here and bam, we have a entire uh, ceiling in here or the entire glass in on the one side. Damn, I really like how that looks. Now, I'm not a big fan of how they put scratches and stuff on the glass itself. Um, I liked how it was like pretty clear before, but hey, it is what it is and you can only win uh, so many, right? I mean, it is their game and they pretty much can do whatever they want. So, okay, awesome. I'm going to take the scaffolding down here and it looks like we actually might have a few friends wandering around below. I'm going to go and take care of those guys because it sounds like they're uh, destroying some of our traps. Hi, what's up, soldier? Where are you? Ah, there you are. And there you aren't. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, we, we definitely do have a few locals around. There might be uh, a wandering horde nearby, maybe? Damn, that headshot friggin' damage is insane. Okay, well, uh, don't really see any other ones around, so we should be okay. Okay, there we go. So we got everything together. I have 143 glass left. Uh, which means that's easily enough to do another side and maybe even two. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and uh, pull my way up here. Here we go. And uh, skill, or skim off a top layer of these blocks right here. Okay, while I'm doing this, I guess uh, I may as well talk to you guys. Kind of pass the time a little bit here. This takes forever. I'm on my last uh, wall taking this top off. Um, but a lot of you have expressed interest in uh, my other stuff I do, like woodworking, and I've always been kind of wanting to start like a, another channel, YouTube channel, or even just kind of casually stream um, what I do. Since my shop's almost together, I'm thinking of firing up my Twitch channel again. If you guys have Twitch, check me out at twitch.tv slash skippy0330. Uh, I may make another channel here to... Um, to do woodworking or I may just leave it on that channel I'm not entirely sure uh, but we're gonna do the casual streams and stuff it's gonna be uh, in real life stuff so if you have twitch follow me over there uh, eventually I think I'm gonna make a YouTube channel too because I'd like to uh, make videos on that stuff but uh, just for the people there that uh, did say that they're interested in seeing that uh, I think I'm gonna do that I think it'll be a, a lot of fun I haven't really streamed on twitch in a very long time uh, from what whoa damn it uh, from what I see uh, a lot has actually changed so it should be a, a little interesting going back uh, there's some twitch ad things going on lately that I have to look up like there's a uh, Twitch itself, guys, um, the reason I left it is just because it's, um, like, it's, it's a good platform for streaming, but it's just a giant drama fest in the end. Uh, so that's why I kind of just kind of walked away from it all and started doing my own thing on YouTube, which I 100%, guys, oops, that is not the right block. Uh, I 100%. Uh, do not regret doing it. It's probably actually one of my best decisions because I, I honestly find I like editing videos and stuff and uh, doing it this way uh, a lot better than streaming. Streaming is a lot harder, I will admit that. Uh, you're trying to pay attention to the game you're playing. You're trying to pay attention to the stream. It, it's like talking to 100, uh, 200, 300 people at the same time as trying to play your game. Uh, a lot of people kind of look at stream and they're like, ah, that shit's easy. <laughs> Oops, damn it. Oh no. See, I can't even, I can't even talk to you guys and, and place blogs at the same time. Uh, but it's really not. So I have uh, much respect for streamers, but it's just not really uh, my thing anymore. Anyways, guys, I would love to show you that aspect of my stuff. So follow me over on Twitch over there. Um, if you haven't joined my Discord yet, to join my Discord. There's a, a, a good group of us on there that do stuff too. And uh, we post our pictures and share things. I think it's uh, a great experience. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep placing blocks here. For the end of the episode, what we're going to do is uh, head out in the morning here and uh, strip down a few... Uh, local places around oh wait can i can i reach this block from here can i copy it copy rotation oh nice look at that you can copy rotation from a mile away that's sick uh there we go guys it's daytime and i'm just placing uh the last few blocks up on here so we're uh we're looking pretty good so far 
Damn, I'm gonna have to pull up this way. Let's uh, let's go and uh, take a quick look. There we are. Maybe up one more. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, maybe there's a few blocks up here that I may have missed. Uh, yeah, I missed this whole section up here. Okay, I'm gonna get this finished off and then we'll come back. Ah, there we go. So we got her all done here. I just, of course, I gotta go put the corners in once she's uh, together. There we go. One, two, three. And did I see one missing piece right there? I definitely did. There we go. Okay, awesome. Oh, just like that. Bam. We have uh, two full sides of this done and the other sides aren't going to be that bad and we have 39 blocks left which means we're going to have to wait a little while again before coming back to this project and finishing it off because probably need a good another hundred some blocks to get this all done but damn look at that guys we're looking pretty damn good with the glass it's nice to see that done it's a little tedious but it's nice to get done okay well we're gonna head out here guys as i promised we're gonna go and uh strip down a place so if we open up our map here uh, i do believe this one's a church over here i don't want to be involved with that oh wait no that's not a church that is actually uh like the little trailer that's a church right there uh, so we're gonna head over to this place right here and uh get her completely stripped down of goods i don't even have to empty my inventory here we're nice and close to home uh we don't have to go far all i gotta do is find my uh damn condor here we go. See, it's not far away at all. We can see my base from here, and we can see this uh, this uh, double Y. I think this is a double Y trailer right here. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to go and uh, get this place stripped down. It's a nice small place, guys, so I think this is a great time for a, uh, a quick time lapse. What do you guys think? Oh, guys, look at this. We got a level 6 robotic sledge. Finally, we got a robotic sledge. Holy crap. Uh, so, yeah, this place is actually reloaded. It's been uh, more than 30 days since uh, we've come in here. So, uh, let's check it out. We got the reinforced chest over here. We got uh, some steel spears. We can sell that. Actually, that's a level 6. We'll be saving that. And uh, a bunch of mods and stuff. Nothing, nothing too crazy here. I'm not really going to see, I, I think, any uh, loot that's going to impress me. Uh, at this point, at least. But yeah, look at this. Look at all this stuff. Okay, whoa! Holy crap. Good thing I didn't loot too much uh, as far as uh, scrapping it down. Let's give that time lapse a go now. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. We ran through this place here. It's not too much of a POI, so um, I took, I think, almost everything uh, worth of value out, but it sounds like we may have a, uh, a vulture here to deal with. What's up, vulture? Oh, look at this. Oh, where, where are you? I see your shadow. Boom! You ain't no thing. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this guy here because uh, they, they, give, they give a decent amount of flesh. There we go. We got four pieces off him. And uh, let's go up top. Make sure we're not leaving anything useful up there like air conditioners or, uh, or whatnot. I do think I came to this place at one point in time and kind of banged on a few things to kind of get a few parts. But uh, that's about it. Yeah, there is nothing up here for us. Okay, cool. Well, that place wasn't uh, too full of electronic stuff, which makes sense. It's a little tiny uh, place, but we got 35 scrap polymers, 20 springs, uh, 29 short iron pipes, 99 electrical parts. And uh, did we even get any mechanical? Yes, we did. We got 12 mechanical parts. Not too bad. I mean, that's nice and easy. Smash and grab. Uh, we're not going to go bother over there. There's a barn and a church. Both kind of suck for electronics. Uh, but guys, unfortunately, once again, we are out of time for today's episode. So we'll come back here. We'll uh, be doing Horde Night very shortly. Uh, exciting stuff. Uh, really looking forward to it. And the base is really coming together now. So uh, all very happy things. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Stay classy. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter 